Have you ever wondered what it takes to lead an extraordinary life? How can you tap into your full potential and make a lasting impact on those around you? These are questions many of us grapple with as we seek to find meaning and purpose in our lives. What if the answer lies not in following a single passion but in exploring a wide array of interests and experiences? In this review, we delve into the blueprint for becoming extraordinary, drawing from the insights of successful creators and leaders featured in the podcast Remarkable People. The author's extensive interviews reveal that the path to greatness is often multifaceted, requiring a blend of curiosity, resilience, and a focus on making a difference. Firstly, pursuing a wide range of interests can lead to discovering your true calling. Unlike the traditional advice to follow one passion, exploring multiple fields can open up new perspectives and opportunities. This approach allows for the cross-pollination of ideas, fostering innovation and creativity. By embracing diverse experiences, you not only enrich your knowledge but also uncover hidden talents and passions that can guide you toward a fulfilling career and life. Developing grit and perseverance is another crucial element in realizing your potential. The journey to success is rarely a straight path, it is often fraught with obstacles and setbacks. Those who achieve greatness do not do so by avoiding failure but by learning from it. They view rejection as an opportunity to grow and improve, rather than a roadblock. This resilience enables them to keep pushing forward, even in the face of adversity, ultimately leading to breakthroughs and success. Furthermore, the most inspiring leaders measure their success by the impact they have on others, not just by personal gain. They understand that true fulfillment comes from creating value and making a positive difference in the world. This mindset shifts the focus from individual achievement to collective progress, fostering a sense of purpose and satisfaction that transcends personal accolades. By prioritizing the well-being and growth of others, these leaders build lasting legacies that resonate far beyond their immediate circles. The essence of a remarkable life lies in the balance of curiosity, resilience, and altruism. By exploring diverse interests, developing the perseverance to overcome challenges, and focusing on the impact you have on others, you can unlock your full potential and lead a life of significance. This holistic approach not only enriches your personal journey but also contributes to the betterment of society as a whole. Success is not measured by what you accomplish, but by the opposition you have encountered, and the courage with which you have maintained the struggle against overwhelming odds. Or isn't Sweat Martin? Growth begins with planting seeds. Imagine walking through a forest of oak trees. The trees tower above you, creating dappled shadows on the earth below. How can you build something in your life as potent and valuable as an oak forest? You start by planting acorns. How do you do that? You collect fallen acorns from mature oaks, drop them in water, the ones that sink are healthy, and plant the healthy ones. Most won't sprout, but the few that do take root will, with care and patience, grow into mighty trees that can stand for generations. Oak trees are the perfect metaphor for remarkable achievements in life. You must gather seeds of potential, plant them hopefully, nurture them tirelessly, and wait patiently to see which ideas take hold and flourish. You can't predict which ones will thrive, but you must trust the process, follow your heart, and tend faithfully to all that you have sown. This approach stands in contrast to the common advice of find your passion. Passions are often overrated, especially early in life. There is too much pressure to find one's true calling at a young age. A better approach is to pursue many different interests without overthinking it. Cast a wide net, try new things, and see what grabs you. True passions emerge gradually from a succession of curiosities that captivate you. They start as humble acorns of interest that you nurture over years until they grow into towering oaks. Adopting a growth mindset is the key to unlocking your full potential and living a remarkable life. This mindset is defined by the conviction that your qualities and abilities can be developed through effort, effective strategies, and support from others. On the other hand, those with a fixed mindset believe that their qualities are unchangeable and set in stone. One powerful way to plant seeds of potential is through education, both in and out of the classroom. For Stephen Wolfram, a precocious physicist who won a MacArthur Genius Grant at a young age, the key was learning to find knowledge on his own. As a child, he sought out books on physics and mathematics. He was amazed to discover that libraries existed, places where you could dive into knowledge of virtually any subject. For Wolfram, reading widely and voraciously was its own form of education, opening up new vistas of understanding, which he would later incorporate into his scientific work. Another way to plant seeds is by meeting people from all walks of life. The author has benefited from many such chance encounters. While getting his son's iPhone fixed at an Apple store, a random encounter led to a meeting with Sean Thompson, a world champion surfer from the 1980s. 
On another occasion, while the author was surfing in Santa Cruz, a new friend introduced him to Leon Panetta, the former U.S. Secretary of Defense, and Dave Ebert, a renowned shark expert, author, and TV personality. Each conversation with a stranger holds the potential to expand life in unforeseen ways, so stay open and curious. The wider your network, the better opportunities can find you. Build bridges by smiling, listening intently, and focusing on the positive. You never know where a casual chat might lead. As you gather seeds of potential, stay humble and strive to learn from every experience, even unglamorous ones. When musician and entrepreneur Derek Sivers was 17 years old, his first paying gig was strolling around a pig show strumming his guitar for a measly $75. He jumped at the random offer, gave it his all, and impressed the folks who hired him. That humble pig show led to an invitation to play at a fancy art gallery opening, which in turn launched a lucrative career performing over 1,000 circus shows. Saying yes to everything, as Sivers describes it, can be a useful approach, especially early in one's career. Do the tasks no one else wants to do. Master skills that make you uniquely valuable. Be a team player who makes your colleagues shine. With the right mindset, there are no truly dead-end jobs, only opportunities to prove yourself and expand your capabilities. As you embark on your journey of planting seeds and nurturing growth, remember that success is a gradual process. Embrace the diverse opportunities life presents, and keep an open heart and mind. Just as a forest of oaks begins with a single acorn, your remarkable life will unfold from the seeds you plant and nurture today. Show the world your grit. Regardless of one's industry or personal background, what is one quality that distinguishes remarkable people? It's grit, the stubborn perseverance and passion needed to keep striving toward long-term goals in the face of adversity. It's what propels someone from merely having an idea to actually implementing it and making an impact. One step toward developing grit is to formalize your goals by writing them down. There's a difference between daydreaming about an idea and committing it to paper. Your goal may be unclear and difficult to articulate, but this effort is where the magic happens. When you can move your desires from your mind onto the page, they take on new life, transforming from abstract wishes into concrete targets. This process creates a roadmap from where you are to where you want to be. Refer to this map daily to keep your ultimate destination in focus. Another habit of people with grit is establishing consistent routines. Having a regular morning ritual eliminates unnecessary choices, reserving your mental energy and willpower for what matters most. Start with something simple that slots easily into your existing schedule, a short meditation, a few minutes of reading, or some push-ups. The specific activity is less important than the repetition. By wiring this into your day and associating it with positive emotions and overarching goals, your routine quickly becomes an automatic, energizing way to build momentum each morning. Of course, the road to any ambitious goal is littered with obstacles, setbacks, and rejections. But people with grit don't see an O as a stop sign, but merely a yield or a detour. When turned down for a job, they don't hear, you're not good enough, but this particular role isn't a good fit for you. When a college rejects their application, they think, this specific school isn't right for me, instead of I'm not cut out for higher education. This mentality is especially vital for entrepreneurs and executives. Melanie Perkins, CEO of Canva, famously pitched to over 300 investors before finally getting a yes. The first 299 rejections weren't a final verdict on her idea, but a test of her resolve. In the end, grit means reframing negatives as positives, using each no as motivation to work harder, improve, and persevere until you get a life-changing yes. If you can maintain faith in your vision, the most audacious goals are attainable. Keep your head up, scan the horizon for your mountaintop, chart your route, and then take that first step. Lead with grace. What does it take to be a remarkable leader? You might picture someone bold, brash, or larger than life. But often, the most significant people carry themselves with quiet confidence. This grace, a combination of poise, kindness, and thoughtfulness, is a hallmark of remarkable leaders. In its presence, you sense an understated self-assurance, coupled with a desire to inspire and empower others. One key aspect of grace is a willingness to openly admit what you don't know. In a world where people often feel pressured to project an aura of infallibility, it's refreshing to hear someone in a position of authority utter the words, I don't know. Far from undermining their credibility, this candor actually enhances it. By acknowledging the limits of their knowledge, remarkable leaders demonstrate humility, transparency, and an openness to listening and learning. This I don't know is often best followed up with a commitment to finding an answer. 
For leaders, it's also important to temper that uncertainty with an expression of hope and optimism to rally the team in challenging times. Having the confidence to admit the gaps in your knowledge, rather than clinging to an illusion of omniscience, shows that you're focused on the pursuit of truth and solutions, not the optics of your own reputation. Another cornerstone of remarkable leadership is how you define and measure success. While society often keeps score in terms of wealth, status, and power, the most inspiring leaders prioritize impact, fulfillment, and growth. For instance, Sal Khan, the creator of Khan Academy, measures success by the number of children he's helped educate globally. He finds deep satisfaction in knowing that his efforts have made a tangible difference in the lives of others, expanding access to knowledge and opportunity. Still others prioritize the depth and quality of their relationships as the ultimate metric of a life well lived. They invest their time and attention in forging genuine connections, lifting up those around them, and creating a strong network of support and camaraderie. For them, success is defined by the love and respect they give and receive. This reorientation away from self-centered metrics is the basis for true contentment. Ultimately, remarkable leaders play the long game. They know that the most enduring legacies are built not through ruthless competition and self-promotion but through patient growth, quiet perseverance, and a commitment to helping others flourish. By keeping score in terms of the lives they touch and the lasting change they create, they tap into a deeper sense of meaning and purpose. By focusing their efforts outward, by channeling their drive toward a greater good, they find a sustainable source of motivation and satisfaction. In the process, they inspire us to reimagine what's possible in our own lives. As Warren Bennis once said, leadership has the capacity to translate vision into reality. Thank you for listening. If you found this information valuable, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For new subscribers, welcome to our community where we explore powerful strategies to help our children thrive. Remember, your support helps us continue to provide insightful content. Final Summary Imagine a life where every decision, every effort, and every interaction contributes to a legacy that outlives you. This review has illuminated the inspiring guidelines to craft such an extraordinary life, plant seeds of potential far and wide, nurture them with grit and perseverance, and emulate the quiet grace of remarkable leaders. Each of us has the power to transform our lives and the lives of others through these principles. First, consider the metaphor of planting seeds. By exploring diverse interests and passions, we scatter seeds of potential in various fields. Some will thrive and grow into robust opportunities. This approach encourages experimentation and resilience, allowing us to discover our true calling not through a singular focus but through a broad, exploratory journey. Embracing a growth mindset is crucial here, as it fosters continuous learning and adaptation. Next, grit and perseverance are the water and sunlight that nurture these seeds. Grit, the combination of passion and perseverance, propels us forward even when faced with obstacles. Formalizing goals by writing them down transforms abstract ideas into actionable plans, providing a roadmap to success. Establishing consistent routines further strengthens our resolve, turning small, daily habits into monumental achievements over time. Remarkable leaders teach us the power of grace, an understated yet profound quality. True leaders admit what they don't know and seek knowledge with humility and transparency. They inspire through their authenticity and their commitment to learning and growing alongside their team. This grace fosters a supportive environment where everyone feels valued and empowered to contribute. Success redefined is another cornerstone of a fulfilling life. Rather than chasing wealth and status, remarkable individuals measure their achievements by the impact and value they create for others. This shift in perspective nurtures a deeper well of motivation and fulfillment, allowing us to find joy and meaning in our contributions to the world. Finally, we must look beyond our individual journeys and consider our collective potential. As a society, we have the power to dream bigger, support one another, and create a legacy of positive change. By lifting each other up and working together, we can achieve remarkable feats that leave a lasting impact on future generations. As we conclude, I want to leave you with a powerful quote from Maya Angelou, success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. Remember, your journey to greatness is not defined by external validation but by your own growth and the positive impact you have on others. Thank you for engaging and joining us today. Your commitment to personal growth and your desire to make a difference are truly commendable. Remember, your support helps us continue to provide insightful content. Until next time, happy vibe and happy listening.